Come on, get out. You need to sell. Is the Guardians. I mean, the Walkers. So he knows where your mother's hoard is? Probably. You put us all at risk. We have to find that hoard before it shows up at our gate. So you decide for all of us? Knowing what it could mean? It doesn't matter anymore. You still gotta find them. I'm gonna be in there with you and Sadiq is gonna treat his wounds first. He bleeds until he answers. That's not your call. None of this is. You did what you did, but I'm not gonna let it go from bad to worse, and I think the council would agree, including Michonne. Come on, you can stay with me. Who else knew about this? Just Eugene and Rosita. We would have told you if we'd found someone out there, but we didn't. And who knows who else was listening? We weren't being careless with it. Rosita and Eugene went out to set up this relay and almost died because of it. Jesus did die because of it. Negan got out while you were distracted because of it. I can't do my job if the council is keeping things from me. We gave you the power to veto the council based on security concerns, but now everything is a security concern. So our votes don't matter anymore unless you agree with them. Putting ourselves out there when we don't have to is dangerous. So is cutting us off from the rest of the world. Who are we supposed to turn to when we need help? We can't be so worried about finding enemies that we lose our friends. We did lose a friend. We all set out with the best intentions, but that doesn't change what happened. There's a new enemy out there, and they're exactly what Michonne was afraid we'd find. I don't regret the time that I spent out there with Jesus. I don't. And what happened, maybe that would have happened anyway. Maybe. But now we know what's out there, and we can't pretend otherwise. We put Michonne in charge of security for a reason. Her judgment has saved us time and again. Yes, but at what cost? We saw Carol when we were at the hilltop. And she told me that she tried asking Michonne for help with the fair again, and she said that you turned her down. You spoke on behalf of Alexandria? The question of the trade fair is old business. Yes, but we have new information. Look, the fair starts the day after tomorrow, and it's not too late to reconsider. Carol says that the situation at the kingdom is far worse than Ezekiel let on in his letter. They're too isolated, and they need the trade that this fair will bring. The kingdom can take care of itself. They always have. Carol wouldn't ask for help a second time if it wasn't serious. I motion the council take a second vote on the kingdom's fair. To what end? She'd just veto it. I would. The roads leading there are broken and dangerous. And there is a group dressed as the dead who are trying to kill us. Look, I wish we could help them too. And we could vote to open up our doors to our friends just like we did with the people of the sanctuary. I could get behind that. But Carol made it clear in her letter that Ezekiel is not ready to give up the kingdom, and 
I'm not ready to risk Alexandrian lives over this. I know that you just want what's best for us. But what does it mean for Alexandria to survive if it means that the kingdom falls? It means Alexandria survives. I kept trying to hold on. We did. But things fall apart. The cold set in. Fires raged. The rot spread. It's knowing when to keep fighting and knowing when it's over. If only for now. We need help. Shelter. From the storms to come. Never forget the magic we felt in this place. seen it come and gotten us out sooner. My people wouldn't be here like this if it wasn't for me. No, they wouldn't be. Because they wouldn't be here at all. All this time we spent apart. I thought it made us stronger. It didn't. woman was able to walk amongst us because we didn't know each other. We 
We can never let that happen again. And we've come too far to give up. The kingdom hasn't fallen. It's right here. And that charter we signed, it means something. It means that these people aren't just yours anymore. They're ours. And we're going to get them home. If they see us crossing that border, it could start something. So we make sure that they don't. <laughs> <laughs>